let's suppose I've taken this piece of myocardium from the atrium. Is that right? And I've taken this piece of myocardium from the ventricle. Of course, it must be thicker. Now listen, let's suppose these are myocardial cells. But these myocardial cells do not have any very specialized conduction system. Right? And these cells, one cell stimulates the next cell through the gap junction, then second cell stimulates the third cell through the gap junction, then third cell stimulates the fourth cell through the gap junction. Is that right? So we say the movement of the depolarization is with moderate velocity in first strip. Here is the second strip. Here what happened, within these myocardial cells, okay, this was the normal myocardial cells, you remember, you must remember all the myocardial cells are connected with each other through the electrical windows which are called gap junctions. That is why, because if you stimulate one myocardial cell, many other are also stimulated. We say electrically, myocardial cells are a network. Electrically, myocardial cells are a network. Or we say myocardial cells behave as a sensatium or sensatium. Now listen. Within these cells, we put some very special cell. This is a very special cell. It is a wide diameter cell and this group of cells within this piece. Now, we have put these blue cells in these red cells. The property of blue cells are they are very large so they offer less resistance to the current flow and blue cells with each other have more gap junctions than the other cells. So, Current can move through the blue cells very rapidly. We say this is fast conducting. What is this? This is fast conducting my network of myocardial cells. Such cells in the real heart are called Purkinje cells or Purkinje system. Now, this myocardial piece does not have fast conducting myocardium, but this myocardial piece has specialized fast conducting myocardium. So, when depolarization moves into this tissue, it moves with moderate velocity. But when depolarization moves through this tissue, it moves with a high velocity. Am I clear? For comparison purpose, we make the thickness of both pieces same. Both pieces have the same thickness, let's suppose, but this is moderate conductor and this is fast conductor. What will happen? Let's suppose you stimulate both of them on the A point. This is A point and this is B point and this is also A point of this and B point, right? And of course, we have to apply the negative electrode here and positive electrode here. Negative electrode here and positive electrode here. Now, if we stimulate this cell, right? Of course, wave of deposition is produced in A point and move towards the B point and that will generate a vector. Is that right? In the same way, when this cell is stimulated, Right, again from A point to B point, electrical current will move, a wave of depolarization move, and again a vector is produced. Now in both cases, let's suppose vector have equal length, right? If muscle have equal thickness. Now, in both cases, positive charges are moving towards the positive electrode. So deflections will be positive. positive. But there will be a difference. That in this case, Deflection will be positive, but it will be with moderate velocity, right? Here, def because deflection will be again positive, but because current is moving very fast, deflection will be very rapidly positive. So what is the real difference? That those myocardial tissues which conduct with the, conduct the current or conduct the depolarization with moderate speed, they move the needle with moderate velocity or slowly but those tissues in the myocardium which are specialized in fast conduction they produce the depolarizing current or depolarizing vectors which are very fast vector they will fluctuate the needle slowly or fastly fastly is that right so here i will show that here needle will move from zero position to this here also needle will move from 0 to positive side. But the only difference, here needle moved because tissue was moderately conducting, moved slowly. 
here mood needle will move very rapidly am i clear so this was the basic principles on which myocardial tissue produces vectors and these electrical vectors are sensed by electrodes of the ecg machine or galvanometer right once we have learned this very basic principle now i will explain the real vectors real electrical vectors which are produced in the heart during one cardiac cycle up to now we were studying only only one piece of myocardium now we'll study the whole heart that during one cardiac cycle in the heart which electrical vectors are produced and how the ecg machine needle moves and draws the ecg pattern we'll do it just after a break <laughs>